Hey everyone, today I want to talk to you about setbacks and how to overcome them. For me, recently my music's been going really well and then something happened that wasn't great and wasn't part of the plan. My initial reaction was upset and I was quite frustrated and that came out in the form of various sweary words. And definitely in that moment I was defining what happened as a setback. Everything had seemed to be going really well on paper. Um, and it and it is going really well. It's going really well. And, and all of you have been so supportive of my music and that's incredible. And I cannot thank you enough for that. But I just kind of initially focused in on this one thing that hadn't gone to plan. In music, setbacks can be quite common. Like in school or jobs or life, things happen, obstacles come up things that you can't control and it can be a bit of a kick in the teeth especially if it's personal like if you've invested emotionally in that thing for me with music when I song write I really like writing from the heart and I really like writing taking my own experiences and putting them into a song I feel like you guys connect with that a hell of a lot more but then if something doesn't go to plan, it's harder to not take it personally because it is personal. Luckily for me, I feel like I'm quite a strong and determined person. I really believe in, in myself and what I'm doing. But I've also got amazing people in my life that help me to rationalise the situation. It's completely natural to have that first reaction of upset or anger or confusion, frustration. If something comes up that's not so great and you didn't plan for it, it's completely natural to react like that. But it's so important how you move on. The thing to remember and the thing that I have to keep in my head is that success towards a goal is not linear for anyone. If you're going from being unhealthy to fit or you're learning a new skill like guitar, obstacles come up, setbacks happen. When I first started learning guitar, my fingers were really hurting because I hadn't got the hard calluses to kind of press down hard enough. I had to stop playing because I had blisters on, on the ends of my fingers. When I next got onto the guitar and started playing again, I didn't feel like I was as confident or as skilled, but then from that point onwards, when I'd actually got the calluses on my fingers because of the blisters, I know this is gross, but from that point onwards, I progressed a lot because that thing had happened. I could have quit. I could have just said, you know what? My hands really hurt. This is too hard. I'm out. It's really easy to see someone who you perceive as successful and think, have I got what it takes to, to get there? Or, you know, how have they got there? And does this setback that I've just had mean that I'm never gonna get there? What we don't really think about is the trials and the tribulations that that person's had to go through to get to that point. It's important to accept the fact that there are going to be setbacks in the first place, no matter what you're doing, but they don't need to be a negative thing. They might feel like a negative thing <laughs> when they first happen, but you can use them to adjust your approach based on any feedback or you can use them to just motivate yourself. I'm at a stage now where I'm quite lucky because I can think maybe one guy doesn't like the music I write but 66 million of you guys do like it. And that for me when I'm you know, looking at the big picture, I feel so motivated. But when I was younger and I hadn't been doing music for so long and you know, even before I'd released my first EP, I had setbacks and it was hard because I didn't have so many people championing me. But I pushed through it and just thought, you know what, I really want to do this. So if that person doesn't think I'm good enough because the song isn't good enough or my voice isn't good enough or, you know, whatever it might be, I'm gonna work on that. Say to yourself, yes, I accept the fact that there are going to be setbacks in whatever journey I'm on. There's gonna be things that come up that I don't plan for that aren't so great, and I'm gonna keep going. And that in itself is gonna positively reinforce the pattern. Something will come up, you'll learn from it, or you'll just think, and you'll keep going. The thing that really helps me overcome obstacles, and the thing that I hope you take away from this video is when you're aiming for success, be prepared for setbacks to happen and you'll stay motivated. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you all next time.